hello friends my name is Jabkash Pat and you are watching I think technologies and this particular video we are, will be learning about nested routing in react and this is the part two of the routing series you can go and watch the first part and uh, that will help you a lot in this particular video so let me show you actually what we are going to build so as you can see here we have an application and this is a superhero application yeah I wanted to be a little cool this time so as you can see there are three pages on this particular application first is the home page second is the about page and third is the superhero page okay so this is the first level routing now in this with this particular example I'm going to explain you what is actually nested routing so as you can see this is first level routing and there is an another like there is the second level routing inside the superhero page so when you go to the superhero page you can click at various superheroes and you can you know simply uh, you can load their details so you can see the the address bar is changing you can see that right and uh, the details are also changing so we are going to make this in particular the, in, in this particular video so let's get started so first of all a few things to be noted I have already set up a create react app and you know make it up and going like this is running in this and one more thing I have installed react router DOM uh, with this particular uh, npm page uh, by this command npm i for install react router DOM and if you are confused on how to do it go and watch the previous video I have explained everything uh, in that particular video this is for uh, this video will explain you about nested routing okay now before going any further I would like to thank you this Mario dev 12 because he has given all the data about all the you know all the superheroes so yes this is really important and in this particular you know we have the in our project I have already you know put this data so you can see this is the JSON data and I'll be providing the link to this this uh, JSON file in the description below you can go and simply you know see that okay this is this is I think some um, some base 64 data so I'll, I'll replace this with some sort of link whatever this is uh, the rest is all fine okay so uh, this is great now let's do one thing uh, let's uh, start building one ap application so as you can see the application is currently blank there's nothing in it and I have removed all oh wait all other things from here all the all those default things so let's first start by making those two pages so let's create a new folder call it pages let's create one more new folder call it uh, components components and in the pages folder let's make a home page okay and let's create what have I done I don't know let's create uh, inside the oh, okay we have to call it dot JSX okay so we have we have created the home page uh, and then we will be simply importing react and creating the folder. now if you're thinking that how I am really generating the snippets so quickly so that is because I have installed an application which is called I think react simple snippets yes this one and you can install this and there is like a lot of commands you can see and you can use these commands in order to generate these snippets which I'm generating so I think uh, that you understood so, so let's move and make our home page yeah this time we'll be making a little bit interesting so let's call it uh, super super hero info website okay uh, <laughs> this is okay this is the home page we have uh, let's go a paragraph tag and let's say this website uh, this website provides uh, provides you the uh, information about where about various superhero okay I think superheroes should be together this is our home page okay <laughs> pretty simple right yeah just you know I just wanted to explain uh, you uh, how the nested routing works so the styling and all those things you can you know you can do it by yourself that's very simple so the home page is something like this let's make an about page about.jsx 
and let's call it let's again import react by same imr for react sfc for functional component and we'll be making it about page okay let's do it division h1 about about page okay let's call it this is the about page okay this is the about page and this is the home page now comes the main and the most important part the superhero page uh, this will actually contain our nested route so let's call it superhero page and let's do the same thing import react sfc when generating from fun, uh, functional component and let's call it superhero and let's quickly you know uh, give this something like a div and an h1 and call it super hero page super hero page okay and let's now first implement our first level routing which is like the basic which we have already done in the previous episode so let's do it like really quickly right now so we need a uh, few things from uh, uh, from react router dom so react router dom uh, now what are all the all those things so the first is browser router uh, the second is switch and the third is the route and the i think link mm, we not need link. okay so this is uh, this is the basic things which we require and let, let's now quickly do this browser router and let's call it switch and let's call it route uh, the path for which I'm going to make this is slash the component which I don't want to render the, at this place is home page okay that's right let's save this one now what's next next we want the path will be uh, the path will be about uh, about and the component which we want to render is what happened component which we want to render is about page that's great and you can see as my you know as my visual studio code is automatically importing if this is not imported in your case you can simply import it as per your requirement let's go to the next drop which is superhero so let's call it simply slash super and component which we want to render on this is super hero okay that was simple now as you know as i have talked as i have you know explained to you in the previous uh, video only this will you know render the home page but uh, if we try to go like slash sorry uh, slash about this will not take us to that page this will simply render the home page why i have already explained in the previous video this is because you know this starts you know the switch actually you know as soon as it sees this uh this slash or this home page slash thing it simply you know stops here and render this particular route and it does not look anything else so to stop that behavior what we do we do exact same with this we want to do exact but with the super we don't want to put exact over here now why or you can put also that does not matter but will not be putting in this case uh, i'll show you why okay and this particular is super page uh, so Uh, okay that's right so as you can see now if you go to this particular uh, this particular home page what what we can do is uh, we can simply go to about page we can go to home page and we can go to I think super page which will show our superhero yes that's right now here comes the main part implementing this superhero page okay so this this was the application which we were building this home page about page superhero page so let's first build the navigation bar which is over here so navigation bar could be built very simply you know simply go to the component say navbar.jsx and simply say let uh, let's import react first so imr for importing react and sfc for navbar that's right and let's quickly make the navigation bar so you know import uh, from react router down 
and as per you know nav link and i think you know about nav link from my previous video it is used to uh, show a different kind of styling for the currently active uh, active link okay so let's use uh, let's say uh, we'll be returning a diff uh, division and inside that a nav link will be there and this will be called home page now let's make three one for the home page one for the about page and one for the superhero page okay one for the superhero page and i think we have more made uh we can give this space over here so uh after that let's say let's put the path so we want to you know this the home page is on this on the this path uh, the about page is actually on this particular path so about and the superhero page is actually on this particular path superhero is on this particular path so as we can see that we have made three links all together so what we can do is we can simply show the navigation bar over here so nav bar that's great so as you can see now we have we should have a navigation bar that's great we have navigation bar but all these things are in a single line so let's make it like go on different lines so we can do this by simply putting break statements uh, let's put it there break statement that's great so now these are on three different pages and we are rendering these three pages successfully now here comes the cool part you know rendering the superhero page uh, with all those uh, things so let's first do one thing let's go to the superhero page and let's let's uh, do one thing uh, let's first import all the data so this is all the data from uh, the, the slash uh, I think much more back where do we have our data it's over here so up one directory okay yeah i can find it superhero .json. so we have all the data from our uh, superhero json file and after that what we want to do is uh, after that what we want to do is very simple we want to simply you know render all the list of all the uh, superheroes so let's first before doing that let's use some flexbox in order to like create two things two separate like side by side uh, uh, side by side you can say boxes so let's give an in, in style and this is called inline styling you can use this so uh, display will be flex and uh, display will be flex and let's say justify content will be space around that's great so in the first in the first particular box what i want to do is i want to render all the list of all the superheroes so let's do one thing let's call it data dot map and we want two things so the data and the index that's great okay so now once we have we have to return some uh, we have to return uh, some HTML or anything uh, based on the data so let's first uh, let's import uh, let's uh, uh, let's let's uh, let's return the link from this particular uh, uh, this, uh, from uh, from all the like we'll be creating a link for every superhero which is there in the in there inside our data so let's for first you know import this link from react router dom so uh, link uh, from react uh, react router dom okay that's right and where do you want to link now this is tricky this is something which where you need to apply like a little uh, you know where you have to concentrate a little bit so i want to go to super and i want to go to plus i want to go to any superhero name so d dot superhero okay so i want to go to the super now from where did i did i get d dot superhero simply by you know if you go to the json file you can see uh, this superhero is the you know 
ID of that you know superhero so if you want to go to any like we want to know about any superhero this particular you know go to the super slash that whatever the name of that superhero is and let's do one thing let's put a serial number in this so we can say i plus one so i start from zero so i want to start from one so that's why plus one and i want to say that d dot superhero so that will be the name of superhero and that you know we should be able to like render all the superhero names successfully now i think yes we are but all of them are rendered in a single line and that's something we don't want to happen so what we can do we can simply do one thing we can uh, uh, grab this inside a fragment and then we can say we want to break this and this i think should work yeah you can see that all of the superheroes we have rendered the list of all the superheroes pretty successfully in our application now the next work the next thing is rendering the details upon if we go to like if you see that you know localhost 3000 slash user if we just click uh, if we just go to batman and hit enter that should actually render batman as you can see this is rendering this why why because we haven't specified exact let me tell you where's the app page we haven't specified exact at this particular route if we have exact it will you know it will uh, like it the route will not match okay so as you can see the no route has been matched so nothing has been rendered because that what we want to do is we want to render all superhero detail over here so we'll be we'll be using another switch over here then that will automatically import that switch over here so that uh, after that what we can do is like we can say route uh, route path uh, which path we want slash super slash uh, any superhero so slash super slash any hero uh, that could be in okay so now mm -hmm. let's make this you know whatever mm -hmm. will be rendered inside that so that let's call it like superhero detail component so uh, let's say const superhero detail and detail superhero detail and let's simply uh, uh, return uh, this particular thing let's call it we want a div and now you know we need to know which superhero is this superhero detail page is actually rendering for that you know I ju I'm just telling you one thing you just you can ignore this error for now so you can go to super and then after this Batman is there so what is this Batman this is Batman is actually in parameter which is there in the address bar so how you can get this parameter you know by using something called uh, which is there in the react auto dom so it is called use params i think i should get the highlighting so use params uh, use params wait 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 i don't know why this is not highlighting let's leave it use params is something which is there inside react auto dom which you can use in order to like get all the parameters so let's quickly do it over here let's say that let uh, let's use object destructuring a little bit so that you know uh, our work becomes a little bit easier uh, so let's say uh, we want to use use params okay friends so now as you can see we have used use params so what you can do is you can simply you know take out this hero whatever is built you know put in this particular hero uh, part like whatever is put like in slash like if there's a bat batman so you can you know pull out this thing using use params so uh, i want the hero so just i would like to you know make you aware that you know this hero should be same as this what you mentioned over here okay and now after this what what i want to do is i want to render the detail of that particular hero so how would i do it let's do it so uh, i would you know go to the data uh, data dot map 
uh, some data and some eighth element and uh, after that what I want to do is uh, I want to return all the uh, oh, no no I don't want to return first of all I want to check that if the data dot uh, superhero is equal to the hero which is there in the which is there in the params or not if that is simply return div whatever HTML we have else otherwise return null null means nothing we don't want anything to be rendered if there is no such user or we can simply say like no superhero found or something like that okay so uh, if you want you can implement that for but for now let's keep it null so superhero is equal to uh, if that is true then what we want to do is we want to render their details so the first let's keep it h1 and let's uh, call it the name name of the superhero so that is like d dot d dot super uh, superhero and we don't want this i so we can remove this i for now okay after this we want to render the image of that particular superhero so image the source will be simply uh, d dot img that's great and this uh, we can uh, we can put like d dot superhero over here that's great then after that after uh, and we want to give some width to this uh, and yeah, that will be about uh, 250 uh, I think after that particular thing what we want is we want mm, we want some B inside that we want to we will say like the characters of this particular superhero so what are those characters given let's see the name of the super is okay so then we are the publisher so let's call it P U B L I S H E R publisher uh, publisher which is the publisher we have the publisher is t dot uh, publisher and let's skip two dots and we don't want all these these things to be in one line so let's call it a break for now and let's say you know uh, uh, let's put let's copy this and paste this a few times so uh, okay so next what we have is uh, alter ego ego alter ego I don't know what that means but still alter ego after this you know uh, we want first appearance so let's copy this from here uh, first appearance and what we gonna do is we will make a capital uh, we'll be making F capital and after that uh, we want characters so this is the this is the characters okay and let's first let's now change this one uh, this will be alter ego this will be appearance this will be I think first appearance yeah this will be characters yeah so now we are there but still we haven't done one thing let's go to the super page so it says s is not defined in line number 51 in line number 51 uh, Path. okay yeah so we need also to give a component right over here so let's give a component which component do we want to render on this particular uh, and this particular route is uh, met so we want to render the superhero detail component so superhero detail component let's save it and one more thing you know this route is uh, is not defined I think I haven't imported this so let's import this okay so now there's one more problem still so it says in the line 15 uh, s is not defined in line 15 okay no uh, this will be D okay 
now you can see that our application is working but route is not defined where it is not defined uh, in line number 50 50 switch I think we have switch yeah okay friends so as you can see you know this code actually you know uh, I haven't refreshed this that so that's why that error was coming so now everything's fine you know the code is exactly the same as it was before so as you can see now uh, I am able to do multi-level routing by going to the various pages so it takes some time to you know fetch the fetch the images but as you can see uh, this works okay so this is how the nested routing in react works and I hope that uh, I hope that you like the video and if you like the video don't forget to do, uh, like the channel uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for more such videos and one more thing you know I would like to improve you know this this thing is coming just in slides so we can just you know do very simple just after this image I can do like simply break save and that will fix that issue I think yeah that, fi that has fixed that issue so now I think you are able to make this and uh, you know simply go ahead and make this project by your own in order to really understand how react auto works as you can see you know the first level of routing is this simply you know these pages but the second level of routing is in this uh, you know in inside this superhero page so this is like a nested route as you can see there are like two uh, there are uh, two switch statement used so this will like switch this particular component according to the you know whatever the parameter of the address bar is and one more thing we can we can do is like uh, by default when we when we go to this uh, where is our uh, navigation bar so is it by default when we go to the super it should load batman okay this will be a by default choice okay uh, so if we just go to superhero page that should load batman yeah and I hope so this help this video helped you and if this video helped you don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel thank you friends you know comment down any doubt which you have and I will reply that for sure and thank you bye bye